Good morning, sweet second graders. It's Mrs. Coslo here. I hope you had a great day yesterday, and let's begin to talk about what we're going to learn today. For your morning work, you have your purple handwriting book, and you are going to be doing the letter A. Some nice small curved lines, and then the little tail at the end. We know that A can make the A sound or the long A sound, A, talking about long and short vowels. So we have handwriting for our morning work. We are going to today not do any word of the week today. We'll do that tomorrow. But for invitation, try and cover at least the first two lines. Maybe get sticky notes um, or a piece of paper. Cover those two lines and read it with out seeing those two lines. Do you still know what those two lines say? Can you start the poem without seeing the words? Try it, see how you do. Okay, then today for math, you guys are going to be doing lesson two. Now today we're talking about the tens. So when you add a number to the tens, what happens? So we call this the tens way. And the tens way is super fun because, for example, here, 10 plus 7, we just changed the 0 to a 7. So the 1 stays the same because that's the 10 spot. But all we're doing is adding 7 ones. So we just changed the 0 to 7. We add that many ones. That's called the tens way. Okay, so that is the learn part. But we can't forget our practice part. This is our fluency. We do this fast, right? So for our fluency, we're going to do this fast, and it's called a sprint, remember? And see how many you can do in about a minute. You can have your parents time you or set a timer for one minute, or maybe you just want to try and finish the page. You don't have to time yourself. Let's see how fast we can do our tens way of saying numbers. So 10 and 1 is 11. 10 and 2 is 12. 10 and 3 is is 14. 10 and 4 is 14. 10 and 5 is 15. 10 and 6 is 16. 10 and 7 is 17. 10 and 8 is 18. 10 and 9 is 19. Now, when I ask for a number the tens way, you would say 10 and hmm. So, for the example, the number 14, if I said, can you say the number 14 the tens way, you would say 10 and 4. So you're going to try and do that quickly in your practice book. Okay, those are your sprints. Now today is fun because we get to do a little writing and a little art. We're going to do the Who Am I poem. And you'll have to go to Flipgrid to hear Who Am I. But what's really neat is we are doing a self-portrait with it. Now this self-portrait should take a lot of time because this is a second grade self-portrait. Mrs. Coslow put on there, and Mrs. DeLotte, links. Now you can open up the links to help you with your self-portrait, a portrait of yourself. It's only gonna be from here up. And this link that I put on there, so if you click on it, you can print this or you can just look at it on the computer to help. But it gives you ideas on how to start by drawing a face and a nose. Gives you ideas on hair, smiles, more hair, how to start the face. So this is the one where you'll probably start with the face. And then you can add all the extra details and it shows you how to draw them and you can decide which one looks the most like you. This should be a realistic self-portrait of you. So we should be able to tell that it's you because when you go to Flipgrid, you are going to not be reading it. Your self-portrait's going to be reading it. So your self-portrait will be in front of your face when you post this to Flipgrid which will be kind of fun. It's as if your picture's reading it. 
Okay, friends, that's some of the learning that we're going to be doing today. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you at our Zoom meeting at 9 o'clock. Bye.